Our London Drugs tech expert Julian Saunders joining us for our weekly Tech Talk segment. And today we're going to be talking all about proper posture and comfort. I feel like when we're sitting here, of course, we're, you know, spine straight. But to be honest, as soon as I go back and I sit down, it's this. Yep. As soon as I start researching once again. Yep. You'd, you'd be surprised, actually, how often you see people with bad necks. And it's usually because they're in front of their computer and they're not really conscious of how they're sitting. So there, there's a few things to consider. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a certified doctor or anything, but the kind of general rule of thumb is to stay on a straight angle with your monitors. So if your nose is in the center of your screen, if you're on the computer for a long time, then you're doing okay. okay. Uh, you want to raise or lower your screen so it's at a nice angle to you so you're not looking up or down all the time um, because you're already going to be searching around for papers and other things so when you're actually using the computer uh, keep that nose to the center of the screen really important with laptops because a lot of people will put a laptop or a tablet right on their knees and then they'll sit on the couch and they'll hunch over yeah Yeah. so it's it it, that kind of thing is just kind of common sense but uh, there's there's also a lot of accessories that you can use that make it a lot easier and you've brought some with you today um some look uh, like this looks normal to me. Yep. Uh, this looks very different. <laughs> uh, well, the the uh, the <clears throat> the one that looks normal is actually one that I've shown before. Uh, it's a Bluetooth keyboard that's connected to an iPad. So um, when you're using a tablet, a lot of people just kind of sit down, and get comfortable. Um, but when you've got a keyboard like this is uh, the one of the new Logitech ones with a little tray, uh, you can uh, you can't adjust the angle when the iPad's sitting in here. So if you have a case that lets you not just triangle fold it into one angle, uh, but it allows you to park it where you need it, oh. uh, it makes it a lot better for having that straight eye line. So then you can sit up maybe at the kitchen table or uh, breakfast nook or something, and it makes it uh, more comfortable. So the right case is important. Then the other guy is the new Microsoft Comfort Curve. I just love this thing. It's, it's awesome. Uh, it's, it's definitely not comfortable on your lap, uh, but when you have it sitting at a desk, uh, you don't have to arc your hands at all. You don't have to turn your thumbs inward. Uh, so if you're typing a lot, having the right angle on your fingers is really important. And it's got this huge pad on the bottom to park your wrists wherever you need. And uh, it also, uh, some people remember from back in the day, uh, there was a split keyboard where the keys were a little bit sunken. And if you can see on the angle, it's a lot nicer uh, these days to have uh, just a little bit of a swoop. It's, it's uh, mimicking the natural length of your fingers. Uh, they also have a mouse that goes along with it that means you don't have to turn your hand flat to use it. Uh, so this guy here uh, is a little hard to see on camera, but basically this guy is um, uh, looks like a magic eight ball is what I always think. That's what Sabine called it anyway. It's all nice and shiny. We can see the camera in it. But uh, it, when you put your hand on it, uh, you just park your thumb and then it sits naturally. So it's very nice to uh, be able to just have uh, just uh, place your hand down. You don't have to always turn your hand flat, which causes a lot of wrist injury. So having your uh, hands and uh, posture, that's how you can avoid carpal tunnel. That's how you can really um, make sure that you're not doing something again and again. I know some people have arthritis in their neck early, uh, even though they're in their mid-30s like me. Uh, They've already got issues because they sit gaming and they just kind of go go hunchy over time. So having stuff where you have have your hands (laughs) flat, that's good. And we are running out of time, but I'm just wondering, uh, when we're talking about breaks, maybe, do you have any recommendations for maybe stepping away from the computer or the TV? Definitely, yeah. A lot of people just take a little break every 15 minutes uh, of less than 30 seconds. It depends on how much you need to be on the computer. So uh, what what I personally do, if I'm going to sit down, and I do a lot of photo editing, so if I'm going to sit down and edit photos for a couple hours, I make sure that every 10 minutes I stand up, because then my body's getting used to uh, doing both. Uh, I'm lucky I have a job that's on my feet all day so I have a standing posture at work so for me a break is really simple but just stand up take a breather uh, or even every half hour go get a glass of water perfect well thank you so much for not only the advice but bringing by some new technology as well I thank you so much for joining us I really appreciate it thanks Kayla